Wish me luck, guys. Full speed ahead! What is going on everyone? I'm Helix101 and thanks so much for joining me today. And we're gonna be playing Oasis now. This is more of a serious game here in a way, but it's also very beautifully done and creative and from what I read of it, it's... The creators of the game were basing this off of their grandfather who was lost during the Algerian War during the 1960s and the way he wrote that this is what he liked to envision what happened when his plane got lost is... Well, I guess let's find out. I've never had a chance to see any pictures of it. I just know that it's very colorful, very bright. Let's, uh, let's go. Oh. So, he enters an alternate universe. No. <laughs> this is beautiful already. Like, the idea of it... Oh, wow. Okay, so just pretty much WASD controls. Wow. Those look like hands. Let's go down and then up. Oh, wow. So I'm not sure if there's an objective, but I'm just going to keep flying. Now, I, I got to know my grandfather a little bit when he was alive. Uh, I, I saw him maybe all of twice in my life. Maybe three times. I don't remember him when I was a baby, but when we left Panama, we visited a few times afterwards. So I got to see him a few times before he passed away a few years back. And I, I love my grandfather. He was always super nice, always very welcoming. So I can relate wanting to do something for a family member like this. So now that's a hand there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to fly through it. Let's go through here. Whoa. I'm going to fly under there. What happens if I go here? Woo! Do a barrel roll! Okay. I don't know what happens if you crash into anything. Maybe something else happens. I'm going to try to fly through the hand. Wish me luck, guys! Full speed ahead! Oh, I guess you just fly through it. Well, that was anticlimactic, but... Oh, where am I going? Where am I going now? My grandfather's plane was reported lost in 1960 during the Algerian Independence War, days before the birth of his first child. This is what I like to think happened to him. Okay, so maybe that was just a little introduction there. Or not. Let's see. Let's go through again. I think I missed something. I feel like I missed something. Maybe it loads up differently each time? Oh! Wow! This is so cool! Ooh! The music's really cool too. I'll put it in the description links below if you guys want to try this out. It's actually a free game, so... Honestly, it's more of an experience to just being able to control the airplane and fly around. Wow. The bright colors remind me almost of, um, Katamari Damacy, in a way. This is kind of a neat take of... <laughs> you know, his grandfather was in a war, their grandfather was in a war, and... Just imagine, just imagining that this is what happened to their grandfather. It's kind of, it's kind of a really happy send off in my opinion. The colors. I'm gonna go over to where this little balloon, balloon pod thing is going on over here. Okay, good. Nothing, 
I was hoping that nothing bad would happen if you fly through something. Oh, that's so cool, my colors changed! Let's try this one more time and see what kind of other fantastic things we run into here. I feel like I'm traveling into a new world each time I click uh, and start. Oh wow. And the music changes too each time. So it makes me wonder, how many of these did he generate? So if I fly through any of these, it's kind of cool because what happens is then it starts trailing on the back of my plane. Actually, no, it didn't. Damn it. It did in the other one. Woo. Through the clouds. Okay, so it does kind of trail here too. I feel so mellow right now watching this and playing this. I really don't have anything funny to say about this game. Honestly, it's it's really endearing that he was able to create something in tribute of his grandfather. A lot of times I think we feel that we get lost in our daily lives, our daily routines, and we kind of forget to kind of thank our parents and our relatives, and I know I'm guilty of it. I started watching a TV show where uh, the Master of None and the, the first, the second episode went into how the father was wanting his son to help him with his iPad reset it up, and he was like, "Oh, come on! What do you, what do you, what do you think I am? I'm like an iPad representative, or I don't know." He kept saying something about like not wanting to fix it for his father, and the father then had a flashback of all the 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 struggles and sacrifices he's had to make throughout his life just to give his kids the, the, the kind of life that they have right now, and I, I feel like we always kind of forget to say thanks and be grateful to our parents for that, so... Mom, Dad, if you're watching this episode, thank you so much for everything. I, I've i tried talking to you a little bit more now nowadays, and I feel like things have gotten a little bit better for all of us, and I, I love you so much, so... Yeah, I mean, that's Oasis. So... Guys, not much else to say here, so I hope you guys enjoyed that experience. This is really just an experience, and if you guys want to share it, I'll put the link in the description below. So feel free to like, comment, and if you like the channel, you also know what to do. And I'll see you all on the next level.